what is in a stateful set? And a stateful set provides a well-known unique identity to the pod instead of a random one. A stateful set are useful when we need to know beforehand the pod name. Usually, stateful sets are useful when we are creating a database cluster in Kubernetes, where we need to specify which host names belong to that database cluster. To create a stateful set, we need to use the kind of stateful set, which is pretty similar as a deployment with more or less the same fields. And as you can see here, we set it also the labels, the replicas, and the container image that we want to use. Now let's um, deploy this uh, stateful set. Notice that the replicas is one, which means that it's going to create only one pod. If we do keep curl, get pods. You can see there is one pod. And what I want you to notice here is that the pod is named. The name that we set in the deployment, notice that the name was uh, Quarkus stateful set, minus zero, because it's the first instance. What's happening if I do keep curl scale? stateful set and I set the replicas to three. Now I'm just scaling up my stateful set. But the key point here is that, is that if I do keep cut or get pods, you see that it's scaling in order and it's setting always a predictable name. The quarter stateful set zero, then the second replica is the minus one on the Next one is that minus two. So it's no random name anymore, but just an incremental number. What's happened now? If I do give curl scale to two, what is the first one that's going to die? If I do give curl get pods, you'll see that the one that that's terminating is the number two. Because when we scale up, we make it in order, so press zero, then one, then two, then three, and when we scale down, it's in the reverse order. So in this case, first it's two, then it's one, and then it's zero. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.